And without their inspiration, I would be nobody. So please help me in recognizing my parents, Henry and Angela Lawrence. For Christina and her parents, Henry and Angela Lawrence, this was a special day. Proud father today. Very proud. She did an awesome job. Awesome job. Well deserved what she did. It's been amazing what she's done over the last two years. Oh, it's years. been amazing for two years worth of work. It was a great thing for Larry Bassett. Couldn't be proud. The annual Hands of Hope award ceremony, celebrating those who've donated money to Bats and Children's Hospital, honored her with a youth award for organizing two dance marathons at St. Joe Catholic School in Madison that raised more than $20,000 for the state's only children's hospital. You know, she had a lot of obstacles to overcome in the last two years. She lost her brother, uh, a lot of other things that just teenagers go through, but she persevered and this really means a lot to her. I had to do something. They deserve so much. They're putting up with me and all the late nights and crazy things. And it's well deserved for them. A children's hospital really is completely dependent upon community support. I mean, we, we get a lot of funds from, you know, definitely the state for education, from patient revenue, but so many of the programs we do wouldn't exist without community support. So it's vital for a children's hospital, any children's hospital, but especially ours. Just to be among some community actors who are so involved in the community and who care so much, I could just sense the, the joy and the, the hope and the compassion in the room. This meant putting a face with all those wonderful donors that we get at BATS and that we can never say thank you enough to. And you know it from, from both ends. You have, you've had a child that's been a patient at BATS and, and you work at the medical center. Yes, it was very surreal to actually see those wonderful people come here and to be able to give a personal thank you. And one of those people is Kevin Gibson, a former patient at the Children's Cancer Clinic who works for one of the honorees, the Viking Range Corporation which has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for Batson over the years. I was diagnosed with osteogenic sarcoma in December of 1990. My right arm was amputated below my elbow and I started treatments in 1991 and uh, spent many, many a day in the children's cancer clinic there. He was a very wonderful child. He was obviously very involved in sports and so this uh, injury, of course, or this tumor in his arm was very difficult, you know, for him. But, and to his credit, he did not let it phase him. He went right back to school, got right back into the social world. I, every, I told him today when I saw him how proud I was of him, his family, his children, because every time we see a patient from that area of Grenada, they all know him and they all say such wonderful things about him and the hospital. So he has been a, a true ambassador for the Bats and Children's So he really hospital. talks to people he about does. what his own he experience does. was. And, and he's just been a real role model for many of those children because he rolled right back into school. Viking is a very good company. I'm very fortunate to be able to work for a company that cares so much about their employees and about the, the activities that go on in Mississippi. And now not only is he an ambassador to other other sick kids, families that have sick children, he's working for a company that raises money for, for the hospital. The exactly. So what goes around comes around, right? Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? So we're very proud. To learn more about Bats and Children's Hospital, go to childrenshospital.umc.edu. I'm Jim Albritton reporting.